Now we turn to a long wait for justice. At least it took nearly two decades, but today, a woman who was raped as a teenager finally got to face the man who police, police say attacked her. His name is Moisha Jurno. Investigators say the former Dormont business owner assaulted her in 2004 at a tanning salon. Then he took off for Israel. It wasn't until 2019 that investigators were able to bring him back to face charges. Channel 11's Gabriella DeLuca live with more on this tonight. And Gabriella, I understand that that woman took the stand today? David and Lisa, day one of this trial just wrapped up within the last hour. This is the day that the victim has been waiting for for more than 15 years. She took the stand and testified against her alleged attacker. The woman who was allegedly raped in a Dormont tanning salon said she was frozen in fear during and after the assault. She was just 15 at the time. She said she and a friend were at a nearby store in Dormont when Moshi Yorno asked if they wanted to go tanning at the salon nearby. That's when the victim said Yorno led her into a room with a tanning bed and sexually assaulted her. Yorno was charged with the rape, posted bond, then left for Israel. Two years ago, he was extradited to Pittsburgh after the Allegheny County Sheriff's Office worked with the FBI and the Israeli government. Now, Yorno is standing trial for a crime he's accused of committing more than 15 years ago. I just spoke with the victim's mother off camera after the first day of the trial has ended. She tells me how her daughter is feeling after testifying. I'll have that part of the story coming up at Channel 11 News at 6. Reporting live in downtown Pittsburgh, Gabriella DeLuca, Channel 11 News.